hello guys welcome once more back to the gce panel online in this tutorial we are looking at the solution of june 2023 pure math statistics paper 3 question 6. once uh, welcome uh, welcome once more back to the channel in the previous videos we look at the solutions of questions 1 to 5 of june 2023 Pure Math Statistics Paper 3 and Questions 1 to 5. In this current video, we are looking at the solutions of Question 6. Please make sure you hit on the subscribe button and the notifications bell so that whenever you upload a new video, you'll be the first to be notified. And equally take note that we are equally preparing a lot of content so that the more subscribers we get, the more we upload. Stay tuned, watch this video to the end and don't forget to subscribe, to share and to leave your comments. So uh, this question reads, state the conditions under which the normal distribution can be used to approximate the binomial distribution. The second part, a coin is tossed 100 times. Given that the random variable x is the number of heads obtained, find the expectation and variance of x. Use the normal distribution approximation to the binomial distribution to find four decimal places the following the probability of x less than 45 probability of x greater than 60 and the probability of x lying in the interval 45 to 60. please make sure you click on the notifications bell because some of our videos will not be viewable to you or will not be reachable if you are not subscribed now let's tackle this question So as we already know, we can approximate the binomial distribution by using a normal distribution. So instead of using the binomial, this is what it means, instead of using the binomial, we can use the parameters of the binomial and convert it to a normal distribution. In this case, we say we are using the normal distribution to approximate the binomial. So under what conditions will this hold? So the conditions for can approximate the binomial are as follows. One, if n is large or n is greater than 10 or np is greater than 5 or nq is greater than 5. Secondly, p is close to 0 0.5 or nq is greater than 5 and np is greater than 5. If any of these conditions hold, then x can be used approximated using the normal distribution then it can be approximated using the normal distribution okay um let's see that's that's for question one sub one now sub two a coin is tossed 100 times given that the random variable x is the number of heads obtained find the expectation of x and the variance now since they just said a coin is tossed 100 times this is what happens they have not told us if the coin is a fair coin or a biased coin so in this case the assumption is a fair coin because if the coin was biased it must be mentioned so this coin is what type of coin it is a fair coin and for a fair coin the probability of obtaining a head is equal to the probability of obtaining a tail which is equal to 0 0.5 now how many uh, trials or experiments we carried out a hundred so this coin has been tossed 100 times and the probability of success of obtaining a head is 0 0.5 so this gives us a binomial distribution okay now they want us to find the expectation of this binomial and the variance so how do we get the expectation of a binomial the expression is defined as np our n here is 100 our p is 5 okay so from here we have 100 times as 0 0.5 which is equal to 50. for the variance we have var x is equal to npq or np into 1 minus p that's going to give us 100 into 0 0.15 into 0 0.85 so our variance is 12.7 the variance is 12.75 
Now, they want us to use the, the normal approximation to this binomial distribution to find four decimal places the following. So first of all, we are going to transform this binomial into a normal distribution. So let's see how the transformation works. So x following a normal distribution with parameters mu, our mu here is 50, and what's the variance? 12.75. And we know this approximation is possible because our NP, okay, our NP is greater than 5, right? Here is 50. Okay, so exploitation is greater than 5. So we can use it. So find the probability now that x is less than 45. So this will be equal to the probability of x less than 45 will be equal to probability of z. We have to convert it to the z score. Z less than 45 minus 50, where 45 is this test statistic, 50 is the mean. All that on the standard deviation. What's the standard deviation here? The square root of 12.75. Okay. So this will be equal to probability of z less than negative 1.40. And from your statistics tables, the probability will be 0 0.080732. But they want us to give this answer to four decimal places. So we are going to end at 0 0.0807. That step, we have not done it here. I wanted us to take note of that. Now the probability of x greater than 60. Probability of x greater than 60 will be equal to <coughs> 1 minus probability of x less than 60. And using the z, we are going to have... 1 minus probability of z less than, okay, 60 minus 50 on root 12.75. That will give us 1 minus probability of z less than 2.80. And from the tables, the probability of z less than 2.80 is 0.99745. When we subtract, we are going to have 0 0.0025525. And we approximate four decimal places that will give us 0 0.0026. Uh, I have not given the answer here to four decimal places because I want to lay emphasis that you have to approximate to four decimal places. The last part now is the probability of z of x lying between 45 and 60. Okay, so what we could do here is we just say probability of um, x uh, less than 60 minus probability of x less than 45. So this is going to give us for probability of x less than 60, what do we have? We had uh, 0 0.99745 above here. And probability of x less than 45, we had 0 0.08, uh, 0.0732. When we do this subtraction, we end up with 0 0.916718. So this is how simple the equation was. And equally, viewers, just to let you know that we have the compiled solutions in PDF from 2015 to 2023. In whatever country you are following this video, you can actually ask for a copy, which is going to help you to prepare for your exams. It is given at a very little token. Click on the WhatsApp uh, link below this video so that we can uh, send the copy to you as you send your payment. Equally, follow us live every Saturdays and Sundays for Pure Math Statistics Paper 3 at uh, 7 p.m. Uh, GM. MT West African time. Lastly, we are equally pleading with some of you that uh, we know that this video must have helped you and if you can share it on Facebook, on WhatsApp and any other uh, media, it's going to help many out there to have access to this information. And if you have not yet subscribed, then you are not really helping us because what motivates us to produce more videos is when we have subscribers because subscribers means they are interested in our videos. We have come up with a strategy in such a way that if you are not subscribed, you will see only some of our videos, like for example, question 7 and 8 of this video, you will not be able to see if you are not yet subscribed. Only those who are subscribed will go to YouTube and see the video. If you see it on YouTube and you are not subscribed, you are going to ask to subscribe first. And subscription is free, it's not paid. Please do us this favor. Stay tuned and follow our other videos in other subjects, advanced level, ordinary level, uh, high school, math, physics, chemistry, economics, biology, and so on. Stay tuned, stay safe, and God bless you. Thanks for watching. Next question seven. Ciao.